everyone and uh, thanks for coming to the video uh, it's just a, a really quick video that I've got for you all today um, so basically um, as I am progressing with skills and abilities and tools that I have at my disposal uh, there are things that I uh, aside from doing the chassis uh, things aside that that I'm wanting to do uh, things that uh, need to be done uh, one of those things as you may have guessed is the Darth Vader hilt I do have one at the moment on my store however uh, I am not happy with the overall final quality of that part um, and now that I can actually create things to an extremely and super fine specific uh, I am actually now rebuilding the Darth Vader hilt um, I've done the budget version, uh, which I'm very happy with, but this is the, the new all singing or dancing one. And I will have a second iteration of this at a later date, which will be a surprise coming uh, in the next few months. Um, but I just thought, you know what, I just want to show people this now. So I'll zoom in. So we're going to have a lot of detail on the actual uh, switch section. Uh, you actually have a switch on this now. Uh, or the little latch thing that's part of the design um, and also something I've wanted to do for ages to have these uh, on the side of the uh, hilt as well um, but yeah I'm just going to do a quick spin around uh, I'm not very good at this uh, so you can all see I've uh, got some really great detailing on the emitter finally got the emitter to look and be how I want it to be uh, I've got the switch section to look how I want it to look and the extra detailing on here that I have been really really wanting to do for a, a number of years now um, and uh, one other quick question to you guys out there um, who out there would actually like to see a Darth Vader hilt that's battle damaged and weathered uh, I think it sounds really cool it's something I'd really like to see uh, but guys, um, it's not. There's no point in me making if nobody's going to want it. So if you could put a comment in below, uh, let me know what you think. If do you think a good version of the Darth Vader hilt, with it all being battle damaged and weathered, rather being super clean and pristine and shiny, which so many are, what do uh, what do you think, guys? Should should I do that or not? Anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, are looking forward to this. It is going to be such a nice hilt and it's about 10 inches long so it's a bit shorter than uh, the normal 11 or 12 inches that my hilts are uh, but yeah guys this is such a nice saber um, and when it's fully completed and fully made oh, it's just going to be so nice to have this as part of the collection but anyway that's for me uh, that's all for me guys uh, don't forget, I have got a competition coming up. It starts on the 4th of May. Uh, do not send any of your um, uh, entries in to me until the competition opens. There is a contract that must be signed along with the entries, uh, giving permission for everything. So, uh, like I said, guys, um, if you uh, want to take part, it starts on the 4th of May. All you got to do, design your own lightsaber. You don't have to go to the extreme like this, where it's on an actual program. You can hand draw it as long as it's able to as long as i'm able to understand what it is you've drawn um but yeah like i said guys get your entries ready and getting ready to go in on the 4th of may and i will see you all uh, later